drums and flags from across the continent. European workers have gathered in Brussels to demonstrate for more social protection. This is a demonstration for Europe and social protection. There's a summit in Göteborg and we want all heads of government to put the basic rights for all workers into law. Europe has traditionally distinguished itself from the US, Asia or Latin America in its social tendencies. High taxes, strong social safety nets and tightly regulated labor markets. Now the European Commission wants to enshrine these values in what Commission President Juncker has coined the European pillar of social rights. At the very least, we should agree on a European Union of social standards. Europe cannot work if it shuns its workers. A central part of the initiative is the so-called work-life balance proposal. It would allow new fathers to take more time off and encourage women to enter and stay in the workforce. Brussels hopes that the initiative will restore faith in the European project. You know, we are spending more than 50% of the social expenditures in the world and that's basically the raison d'être of the European Union. That's what we want. We want uh, wealth to be distributed and to be flowing to everyone and not just to, to the happy few. And yes, I do believe that this is the critical instrument to make the EU loved again by the people. Today, there are significant differences between member states when it comes to social protection. According to the Bertelsmann Social Justice Index, access to the labor market, education and health services vary widely across the EU, as does the risk of poverty. And I would argue it's actually the main risk of this declaration of social rights is actually that something is being declared and, you know, basically nothing of this can can be enforced in courts and, uh, you know, it raises big expectations among some people and, you know, it will achieve perhaps much less than, than that. From the outset, the European project has been dominated by economic integration. The social dimension was a mere byproduct. The EU will now make an ambitious political commitment in Göteborg, aiming towards a more social Europe.